Welcome to this video, my name's uh, David Thorne. Uh, in this video we're going to be configuring an Nginx server um, to then host your website uh, with a domain, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and also then a separate subdomain uh, for that one uh, domain. So you basically want to show two different versions of a website based upon which uh, domain and subdomain um, that you're going to use. With that said, uh, let's get started. Okay, so on the left here, we've got um, David Thorne at Debian One. This is going to be our main web server that's going to be hosting our uh, domain and the subdomain as well. And we've got Debian Two here, which is basically just another um, server that we're going to use to then uh, talk to uh, this one server to make any requests. Uh, we want to keep it nice, nice and basic, no browsers, no nothing, just pure using um, a, a terminal. Uh, so you can understand how to debug um, using Nginx as well. Uh, with that said, let's uh, jump into um, this server. This server um, has uh, the IP address of uh, 192.168.178.62. This is on the local network. Um, and this uh, IP address here has, as you can see, the same network, but then uh, 61 uh, as well. Okay, so uh, just to show you that we can talk to uh, each other. <laughs> let's just quickly do a ping. And as you can see, we can. And let's just do the reverse as well. And uh, 62. And we can talk backwards and forwards with each other. Now, just to show you using curl, uh, we want to talk to the website to say, hey, uh, what you got for me right now? And nothing's happening because when we come on this one server, it's because the ports, uh, port 80 is is uh, closed at the moment. As you can see, I'm only allowing SSH through. So let's start off by uh, allowing uh, port 80 to come through using sudo ufw allow and then 80. Now, if we then try this again, you can see here, uh, couldn't connect to server. Uh, that's the, the the server. The port is open, but nothing's running on this one machine at the moment, which is why. So, uh, but we, we got the port. The port one eighty. Port eighty is open on this one server. So, next thing we want to do is install Nginx. So let's go and check to see whether Nginx is installed on your server first of all, and we can do that um, by basically saying list nginx here and then installed. So we say apt list nginx and dash dash installed. And we can see listing uh, done, which didn't, didn't find anything. And if we do it again, we see uh, nginx stable. And if it was installed, there'd be some brackets around it. So let's go ahead and install it now. And let's just do dash uh, y. And uh, now it's installed. Let's run the, the command once again. Now you can see, as I said, it, it's now installed. And let's just to check to see whether it's um, actually uh, up and running. And we can say, uh, we can see here by running etc init d nginx status, we can see it is active and uh, up and running. And uh, finally, uh, nstat is not installed. Let's just install uh, nstat just to check that what port it's running on. And that can be done through uh, net tools. And then we can say uh, net stats. And um, right now we can see that we are uh, running um, SSH and also port 80 is uh, open uh, right now. So uh, we're all happy with that. Okay, let's just close this down a little bit further again. Oops, and it's better. Okay, uh, so we know that Nginx is installed now. If we run this the command once again on this one server, we can see that we're getting welcome to Nginx, which is super, super good. We know that it is actually working. Now, uh, we're far from done here. We basically just know that Nginx has been installed um, by, by default, but we want to actually start configuring it now to handle our domains. So which domains do we want to be handling? So let's just go and show you. We have youtube.tuts, uh, uh, and this is a, a, a domain, a, a zone that I'm hosting on a DNS server internally. 
Um, and we want to have our website is going to be called youtube.tuts. Or this is our domain. And the subdomain that we want to um, uh, serve is then going to be account.youtube.tuts. And they're all running on uh, 178.61, as you can see here, which is then this machine. So uh, let's now move into the Nginx uh, directory. And we can see uh, that we've got sites available and sites enabled. Now, I'm not a big fan uh, of these files, so we're just going to remove um, the uh, default here and then uh, remove the default file. And we're going to move into uh, the, the conf uh, folder uh, to create all of our uh, conf, uh, conf files here. So let's go ahead and open up um the um youtube dots uh tuts dots uh conf file and and we need to open up a server uh, block and we're actually going to open up two server blocks and uh this one this one is going to be um for account dot youtube dot uh tuts and this top one is going to be default server, uh, which primarily is going to serve then uh, YouTube dots uh, tuts here. Okay, with that said, let's say uh, listen. So we want it to listen on port uh, 80 and we want this one to be the default server. So if anyone else um, sends a request, an HTTP request to this one server on port 80, then this is the one um, that's gonna, this is the server that's gonna be used. And uh, on this one down here, we're going to say uh, listen on port 80 as well. But this is not going to be a default server. And the server name on the default server, as we said, is going to be account, oh, sorry, <coughs> youtube.tuts. And the server name on this one is going to be account.youtube.tuts here. Okay. And what we want to have is a, um, a root directory on this is going to be the default um, HTML directory. And we are also going to, whoops, we're also going to define a location block. And what this is going to do is going to try all the files um, so we don't get a 404. Um, and we can say here, I'll explain this in a second. Okay, so what this is saying is that um, if you get request for YouTube.tuts on port 80, then uh, go to the root directory, which is var www.html, and uh, whatever the path is, so at the moment it's forward slash, try um, that URI first of all. And if that is a, um, a forward slash, then consider that the index file uh, should be an in index.html. So this URI is going to say, hey, do you have an index.html within inside of the HTML directory? And if you do, serve that. If you don't, and this uh, one request, for example, is, uh, let's just say, request is this, then it's going to serve index.html. And then if the request is then, say, um, index html then it's going to serve index.html and then if the request is say like profile.html then this is going to check the uri and if that profile.html file does not exist then it's going to see whether or not this is a directory by putting a forward slash on it and then it's going to check if it is a directory is the index.html there and if it's not then it's going to default to basically loading the index.html file anyway now you could could come after this and say like 404 um, but i prefer to serve a page up all the time rather than giving a 404 page um, so that's what's going to happen here um, now we can pretty much do the same thing on, on this one server and uh, we can say here location once again and try files and then we can do the same thing once again. However, this time we're going to say uh, uh, account.html and our index here is going to be account.html. However, 
the uh, root of this is going to be elsewhere. So they're not going to be linked together and it's going to be under uh, an account. So we're going to be going, if a, a request comes through for account.youtube.tuts, then uh, this server block is going to handle it and it's going to go into the account directory. And then uh, once again, it's going to follow the same, same rules as here. If it's a forward slash, it's going to look for the index.html file. Um, which is not correct because this one is going to go for an account.html. So let's just do this for, for clarity. Request, if this is then forward slash, this is then going to go for index or the account.html because this is what we've said in the account. So let's actually put an index after it just for the sake of it. And if that doesn't exist, then it's going to look for the index.html um, and so on. So I think you got the I think whoops I think you got the idea there. Um, okay, so now we have the listen, we have the server name, we have the root, we have the location, and we have then the indexes as well. We are basically uh, done. So now we can um, check that Nginx is happy with the configurations, which the configuration file syntax is syntax is okay. So let's now go and uh, restart or reload it by saying Nginx dash s and then reload. You can restart it if you want, but uh, you don't have to. And now let's go ahead and say uh, tutorials, oh, whoops, tuts. And we've got forbidden. And this is expected because we, if we go into our, um, our var www um, directory, and then we'll see that we've got our HTML directory. Uh, which is owned by root. That's got nothing to do with this right now, the problem. Um, but, whoops, let's just do ls. And you've got here the index.nginx-debian.html, the default file. So let's just go and dump this file first. Let's get rid of this file, first of all. And then let's make a uh, new file. Uh, da, 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 da. And this is then going to be YouTube tuts index.html and we can save this and now we need to be able to make the accounts uh, folder so let's make the account folder and uh, let's then uh, vim uh, accounts and then we had account.html and say account your youtube um, tuts account.html. Let's say this, and good practice here is to also change the owner of all the files in this one directory, because at the moment they're all owned by root. So let's just change change the owner now uh, recursively to vvv uh, minus, uh, minus <laughs> uh, data. And then let's have a look again. And now we're all happy. Now we should, See here with curl youtube.tuts, we've got youtube tuts index.html. And if we come here now, you can see we can say account.youtube tuts, and now we get the account file. So that's basically done here. And now if we go on the machine and we say curl localhost, okay, curl's not installed, so let's uh, install curl. Let's try it again. Whoops, local <laughs> host. You can see here we get YouTube Tuts index.html. And if we come now here and we then say with the um, the the IP address, we're getting YouTube Tuts index.html. Let's also try um, a, another file. So uh, not found html you can see we're still getting um, this index.html however if we come to uh, here you can st still see that we're getting the account.html because we um, we then did this try files right now if we come come into here once again and uh, come into the account and we rename we rename the accounts whoops that's not what I wanted we rename the account to be index.html uh, 
and run this once again, we can still see here we don't we don't get anything there. But here we get we get a, a, an internal server. Uh, why will we get an internal server? Ah, that's the, we're getting the eternal internal server problem here because this one file now doesn't exist, right? So let's come here and whoops. Did I open this as whoops? Uh, if we come down to this file, this line now, and we we edit this and we put a 404 at the end of it because that account doesn't exist anymore and we restart uh, or we reload nginx and we do this again now you can see we get a 404 not found because that one account file it isn't there so if we um, we now uh, copy this index file to be account.html once again and we run this command again now you can see we get our uh, account youtube file uh, because of because th that one file is being is being the one file exists now um, so there we go that's a basic configuration of nginx using subdomains and um, so you can split up um, the two con configuration files uh, quite easily actually um, if you do have any questions please feel free to put them in the, uh, the comments below and if you have any other um, things you think I should talk about even further with regards to this one video then let me know as well and I'm more than happy to make one um, that's it thanks very much for watching and goodbye